The Stoic Millionaire, a guide to building inner wealth and happiness. In this modern age of relentless consumerism and insatiable ambition, the Stoic perspective on wealth stands as a beacon of wisdom, illuminating a path to a more fulfilling and enduring form of prosperity. It is a philosophy that challenges our deeply ingrained assumptions about what it means to be rich, urging us to look beyond the superficial trappings of material success and discover the true source of our well-being. The Stoics, those ancient sages who valued virtue, wisdom, and tranquility above all else, offer us a treasure trove of insights and practices for cultivating a richer, more meaningful life. They teach us that true wealth is not measured in gold or silver, but in the strength of our character, the depth of our relationships, and the alignment of our actions with our values. In this exploration, we will delve into the profound wisdom of Stoic philosophers like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who lived and breathed these principles in their own lives. We will uncover the timeless secrets of Stoic wealth, learn how to navigate the challenges of life with grace and resilience, and discover the path to a life of genuine fulfillment and happiness. The Illusion of External Wealth In our consumer-driven society, we are constantly bombarded with messages that equate wealth with material possessions, social status, and external achievements. We are told that happiness lies in acquiring more, in climbing the ladder of success, in being envied by our peers. But the Stoics, with their penetrating insights into human nature, saw through this seductive illusion. Seneca, the Roman statesman and philosopher who lived in the first century AD, was a keen observer of the wealthy elite of his time. He witnessed firsthand how their relentless pursuit of riches often led to misery and dissatisfaction. In his letters and essays, Seneca paints a vivid picture of the anxieties, fears, and insecurities that plagued the wealthy, revealing the hollowness of their gilded existence. Wealth is not a good unless it is useful, Seneca wrote, and it cannot be useful unless it is given to a good man. He understood that wealth in and of itself is neither good nor bad. It is merely a tool, a means to an end. The true value of wealth lies in how it is used, whether it is employed to promote virtue, help others, or simply to live a comfortable and fulfilling life. Epictetus, a former slave who became one of the most influential Stoic teachers, offered a similar perspective. He taught that true wealth lies not in what we have, but in what we are. Our character, our values, our inner strength, these are the true sources of our well-being and happiness. Epictetus's teachings are especially poignant given his own life experiences. Born into slavery, he endured hardship and deprivation. Yet through the power of his mind and the practice of Stoic philosophy, he found inner freedom and contentment. He understood that true wealth is not determined by our external circumstances, but by our internal state of mind. Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic Emperor of Rome, echoed this sentiment. In his private meditations, recorded in his Meditations, he reflected on the fleeting nature of fame, fortune, and power. He reminded himself that all external things are ultimately transient and impermanent. The only true source of lasting happiness, he concluded, is the cultivation of virtue and the alignment of our actions with our values. The Stoics taught us that the pursuit of external wealth is a fool's errand. It is like chasing after the wind, a never-ending pursuit that will always leave us wanting more. True wealth, they argued, is an inside job. It is the result of cultivating wisdom, virtue, and self-mastery. It is the ability to live in accordance with nature, to accept what we cannot control, and to focus on what we can, our thoughts, our actions, our character. The Stoic Pursuit of Inner Wealth The Stoics offered a wealth of practical advice on how to cultivate inner wealth. One of their most powerful tools is the practice of negative visualization. This involves imagining the loss of the things we value most, our health, our loved ones, our possessions. By contemplating the impermanence of these things, we can learn to appreciate them more fully and to detach ourselves from our attachment to them. This practice, often called premeditatio malorum, premeditation of evils, may seem counterintuitive at first. Why would we intentionally dwell on misfortune? However, 
The Stoics believed that by confronting our fears and anxieties head-on, we could disarm them and cultivate a greater sense of inner peace. Seneca, in his letters, often wrote about the importance of preparing for adversity. He encouraged his readers to imagine losing their wealth, their health, even their loved ones. By doing so, they could develop a sense of detachment from these external things and realize that their true happiness did not depend on them. Epictetus, in his discourses, offered a similar perspective. He taught his students to imagine themselves in various difficult situations, being shipwrecked, losing a loved one, facing exile or imprisonment. By mentally rehearsing these scenarios, they could prepare themselves for the inevitable challenges of life and develop the resilience to face them with courage and equanimity. Another key Stoic practice for cultivating inner wealth is the pursuit of virtue. The Stoics identified four cardinal virtues, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. These virtues, they believed, are the foundation of a good life and the key to achieving true happiness and fulfillment. Wisdom, for the Stoics, was not simply intellectual knowledge, but practical wisdom, the ability to discern what is truly important in life and to make sound judgments in the face of uncertainty. Courage was not just physical bravery, but the moral courage to stand up for what is right, even in the face of opposition or adversity. Justice was not merely following the letter of the law, but treating others with fairness, respect, and compassion. Temperance was not simply self-control, but moderation in all things, including our desires, our emotions, and our actions. By striving to cultivate these virtues in our own lives, we can develop our character, strengthen our moral compass, and live in accordance with our highest ideals. This, the Stoics believed, is the true path to inner wealth. The Stoic Approach to Material Wealth While the Stoics didn't advocate for a life of poverty, they did caution against the dangers of excessive wealth and the pursuit of material possessions for their own sake. They recognized that wealth can be a double-edged sword, bringing both benefits and burdens. Seneca, in his letters, often warned against the corrupting influence of wealth. He observed that many wealthy individuals become arrogant, self-indulgent, and out of touch with the realities of life. They surround themselves with sycophants and flatterers who reinforce their sense of entitlement and superiority. Epictetus, in his discourses, taught that we should not be overly concerned with acquiring wealth, but rather with using it in a way that is consistent with our values and our pursuit of virtue. He encouraged us to live simply and to be content with what we have. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reflected on the fleeting nature of material wealth. He reminded himself that all external things are ultimately transient and impermanent. The only true source of lasting happiness, he concluded, is the cultivation of virtue and the alignment of our actions with our values. The Stoics believed that we should use our wealth wisely in ways that benefit ourselves and others. They encouraged us to give generously to those in need, to invest in our own education and personal growth, and to support causes that we believe in. But they also warned us against becoming attached to our possessions, reminding us that they are ultimately transient and can be taken away from us at any time. The Stoic Path to Happiness The Stoics believe that happiness is not something that happens to us, but something that we create. It is the result of living a life of virtue, wisdom, and self-mastery. It is the ability to find contentment in the present moment, to accept what we cannot control, and to focus on what we can, our thoughts, our actions, our character. This stoic approach to happiness may seem counterintuitive to some. We are often told that happiness is the result of external circumstances. Getting a promotion, buying a new car, finding the perfect partner. But the Stoics understood that true happiness is not dependent on external factors. It is an inner state of mind, a way of being in the world. Seneca, in his letters, often wrote about the importance of cultivating inner peace and tranquility. He taught us that we can find joy and contentment even in the midst of adversity by focusing on what we can control and letting go of what we cannot. Epictetus, in his discourses, 
offered a similar perspective. He taught his students to focus on their own character and actions, rather than on the opinions of others or the vagaries of fortune. By doing so, they could cultivate a sense of inner freedom and resilience that would enable them to weather any storm. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminded us that happiness is not a destination, but a journey. It is a continuous process of self-improvement and growth. By striving to live in accordance with our values and our highest ideals, we can create a life that is truly rich in meaning and purpose. The Stoic View of Wealth in Practice The Stoic philosophy of wealth is not just a theoretical construct, but a practical guide to living a more fulfilling and meaningful life. By applying the Stoic principles of self-discipline, gratitude and detachment from material possessions, we can cultivate a sense of inner peace and contentment that is not dependent on external circumstances. One way to put the Stoic view of wealth into practice is to focus on experiences rather than things. Studies have shown that experiences such as travel, concerts and spending time with loved ones tend to bring more lasting happiness than material possessions. Another way to practice Stoic wealth is to cultivate a sense of gratitude. By taking time each day to appreciate the good things in our lives, we can shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. This can lead to a greater sense of contentment and well-being. We can also practice Stoic wealth by simplifying our lives. By decluttering our homes, our schedules, and our minds, we can free ourselves from the burden of excess and create more space for what truly matters. Finally, we can cultivate Stoic wealth by investing in our own personal growth and development. This could involve reading books, taking courses, or simply spending time in quiet reflection. By expanding our knowledge and understanding of the world, we can enrich our lives and develop a deeper sense of purpose. The Stoic Wealth of Relationships The Stoics also recognize the importance of relationships in our lives. They believe that our connections with others are a source of great wealth, providing us with love, support, and companionship. Seneca, in his letters, often wrote about the importance of friendship. He believed that true friends are those who share our values and who are willing to challenge us to become better people. He encouraged us to cultivate deep and meaningful relationships with others, as these connections can enrich our lives in countless ways. Epictetus, in his discourses, taught that we should treat others with kindness and respect, regardless of their social status or wealth. He reminded us that we are all human beings, interconnected and interdependent, and that we should strive to live in harmony with one another. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reflected on the importance of family and community. He recognized that we are not isolated individuals, but rather members of a larger whole. By contributing to the well-being of our families and communities, we can find a sense of belonging and purpose that is essential to our happiness. Our the Stoic Wealth of Virtue Ultimately, the Stoics believe that the greatest wealth of all is the wealth of virtue. By cultivating wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance, we can live a life of integrity, purpose, and meaning. Seneca, in his letters, often wrote about the importance of living in accordance with nature. He believed that by understanding the natural laws of the universe, we can live in harmony with ourselves, with others, and with the world around us. Epictetus, in his discourses, taught that we should focus on our own character and actions, rather than on the opinions of others or the vagaries of fortune. By doing so, we can cultivate a sense of inner freedom and resilience that will enable us to weather any storm. Marcus Aurelius in his meditations reminded us that we are all capable of greatness. By striving to live in accordance with our highest ideals, we can achieve a level of excellence that is truly worthy of admiration. The Stoic Wealth of Legacy the Stoics also believe that we can create a lasting legacy by living a life of virtue and contributing to the well-being of others. This legacy, they argued, is far more valuable than any material wealth we could ever accumulate. Seneca, in his letters, often wrote about the importance of leaving a positive mark on the world. He encouraged us to use our talents and resources to make a difference in the lives of others. Epictetus, in his discourses, taught that we should strive to be good role models for others 
by living a life of integrity and virtue, we can inspire others to do the same. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reflected on the importance of leaving a legacy that is worthy of our children and grandchildren. He encouraged us to live in a way that will make them proud. The Stoic view of wealth is a powerful antidote to the materialistic values of our modern world. It offers us a path to a richer, more meaningful life, a life that is grounded in wisdom, virtue, and inner peace. By embracing the Stoic teachings, we can learn to find true wealth in the things that matter most, our relationships, our health, our personal growth, and our contributions to the world. We can discover a sense of purpose and meaning that is not dependent on external circumstances. And we can create a lasting legacy that will inspire generations to come. The Stoic path to wealth is not an easy one, but it is a rewarding one. It requires us to challenge our assumptions, confront our fears, and cultivate our virtues. But if we are willing to do the work, the rewards are immeasurable. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more content on Stoicism and the Art of Living.